Here's your NBC 26 update. I'm Nina Sperano. Let's get straight to the latest numbers of coronavirus cases here in Wisconsin. According to the health department, there are now 1,912 confirmed cases in our state. 37 people have died due to complications of the virus. One of those infected, 487, have now been hospitalized. The Oshkosh Area School District is expanding their free grab-and-go meal program, and that's starting today. They'll also provide meals for the weekend. The meals will be distributed on Fridays. Students, families, and community members should visit a school or neighborhood distribution site to receive their meals for the weekend. Governor Tony Evers is calling for a special legislative session tomorrow to make changes to Tuesday's election. Governor Evers wants the legislatures to allow an all-mail-in mail election to protect people from the coronavirus. He also wants to send a ballot to every registered voter who has not already requested one by May 19th and to extend the time for those ballots to be received to May 26th. Nearly 1.2 million people in Wisconsin have already requested absentee ballots. Meanwhile, the federal judge has ordered that Wisconsin cannot release any results from Tuesday's election until after the extended absentee balloting is complete. This after a judge extended the deadline to send back absentee ballots until the 13th. The deadline to request an absentee ballot was also extended until 5 p.m. tonight. Country USA organizers announced they are pushing back their dates due to the safer at home order. The new Country USA dates are now August 13th to the 15th. Organizers say all ticket holders will have options to use their current tickets for the new dates, switch them to Country USA 2021, or get a full refund. Now it's time for a quick check on your weather. We send it over to Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Cameron. Nina, we don't have the sunshine today that we had yesterday, but temperatures are still just as warm, if not warmer. Right now, most locations are ranging from the mid 50s up into the mid 60s, depending on whether you have a lot of clouds or you've got some sunshine. But there's a cold front headed our way, and you can clearly see it. It's a powerful cold front, no doubt about it. 69 in Chicago. Meanwhile, it's 29 in Des Moines. That's a huge change, and that's some really cold air for April. But thankfully, that cold air is going to moderate considerably before it gets here. We will be behind the cold front tomorrow. And you can see behind the cold front, we're not talking about highs in the 20s or the 30s. It looks like mainly upper 40s to lower 50s with gusty northwest winds and lots of sunshine. For your very latest news, sports, and weather, make sure you download the NBC26 News app. It's free. It's available in the App Store and on Google Play. Just search for WGBA. Have a great weekend.